NASA made big news earlier this week with the first global views of the sun, thanks to two spacecrafts that have positioned themselves on the opposite sides of our star. Now, for the first time in human history, we'll be able to watch the entire globe of the sun 24 hours, seven days a week. Now, other than the pretty pictures and cool movies that we're seeing, the importance of this is being able to have a forecast and a forewarning of potentially dangerous solar storms that may be heading our way. And of course, if we have spacecrafts on other planets uh, like Mars and Jupiter, and if they are gonna be endangered of getting their circuits fried from solar flares, we'll be able to catch the birth of these uh, eruptions on the surface of the far side of the sun. So this is really cool stuff. Turning to stargazing news, on Friday night, look for the moon in the high western sky positioning itself very close to a beautiful star cluster called the Pleiades. This is the, the brightest star cluster visible with the naked eye, and it's 370 light years away. If you have a pair of binoculars, it'll help you with that glare from the moon to, to catch that star cluster, really beauty. Now, if you're turning to Sunday night, if you have clear skies, you'll be looking again towards the south, high southwestern sky, and this time the moon has switched over to the Gemini constellation, will position itself to the beautiful cluster right beside it, which is called M35, which is 2,800 light years away. A great show. For more stargazing information, visit my website, thenightskyguide.com.